Here's an animation I put together as a symbolic representation of a nuclear reactor melting and the ensuing evacuation zone. And so that's why I have the hot orange colors in there for the surround ground. And those greens tend to be, you know, out of their kind of those eerie kind of colors anyway. So it kind of works. The animation was pretty quick, maybe 30 seconds per frame. Oh, maybe, let me see how many particles, 38,000 particles, I think. I had in this system and the one thing to notice is if you're doing particle systems I didn't get the timing quite right on this but say you want to you have a particle that has a lifetime of a uh, hundred frames well sometimes you're better off starting the particle down at negative 100 and then letting it run through the number of frames that you want and you can still start your animation down at frame one or frame zero but that way it gives it time for the lifetime for the particles to be fully developed when the animation first starts. Alright, so and these textures that I tend to use which I really like a lot, this orange surface in here, these are the kind of things that are going to show up on that sci-fi animator dot com website here in the near future and what I hope to do is to be able to make certain textures available at no charge at the lower resolutions for just users and you know personal use not for commercial use and then I'm going to have an alternative category of higher, resolu higher resolution textures for commercial use as well and that way you can at least experiment with them and see how extra animations because they really do play a significant part and these are just images from my basic texture library I have all kinds of different categories of textures and then within each category colors and shapes and designs alpha values the whole nine yards and it's pretty interesting so I hope to put that website online here in uh, February of this year maybe not the first week maybe second week third week of February or something like that okay well that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video